You've heard of the son of Hamas, the guy that speaks out against them very regularly. He's got a book. Everybody talks about it. He violently stands against them. And now again, the latest one, son of Hamas founder calls journalist a parrot for repeating lies about Israel. Masap Youssef put journalist Abby Martin on blast for lacking real life understanding of Hamas and knowledge of basic facts which pretty much everyone in the Western world needs to be put on blast for as well. Watch the video. ...of career, being able to lie about basic facts about this conflict. And so when he says Palestinians or Hamas, what he really means is all Arabs and all Muslims. In fact, um, I've seen that plain as day in his social media and talks. He thinks that all Muslims are terrorists. And so, I mean, this is credit to the point that he is actually credited to jailing what is called the Mandela, the Palestinian Mandela, Marwan Barghouti. This is a guy who he put in prison 20 years ago, who was marching side by side with Israeli peace activists, denouncing Hamas, killing civilians. So again, I mean, when we're looking at someone who's worked for Israeli intelligence, who spouts the same rhetoric as Israelis, who say Hamas, but what they really mean is all Palestinians. I mean, it's really hard to debate someone on the fundamental reality and the principles of, you know, the facts of this conflict. Right, Masab, there was an allegation there that you think all Muslims are terrorists. What's your response to what Abby Martin said? Well, you know, this is Abby's uh, desperate attempt to discredit me. I am a man of the field. I fought against Hamas as part of intelligence, legitimate intelligence organization, against savage group that were targeting uh, civilians in suicide bombing attacks, waves of suicide bombing attacks that they kill people indiscriminately. So Abby today want me for some reason to apologize for saving human life because my truth uh, challenges her convenient truth. Um, Abby does not have the authority. Uh, she's just a self-appointed uh, low-grade uh, journalist. How can you be a journalist and you call this a genocide, ethnic cleansing, and she just keep repeating ethnic cleansing, genocide, colonialism, etc. None of it is real, including Palestine. It's all in your head. None of it is existential. Palestine was never born. How can you free it? It was never there. It's just a colonial entity. And some people choose to make it into a national identity. And this parrot has been just repeating Hamas propaganda. Marwan Barghouti that she's talking about him, she never met him. I knew Marwan before he got to power. He is a criminal. He killed five people. He has blood on his hands. He cheated on his wife. He has a secret son that he never revealed it to the public. Of course, I can criticize him and I can criticize all the criminals that I know personally. She's been there only for a visit and maybe she had some falafel sandwich you know, and she really was blown away of the Palestinian experience. There is no such a thing as Palestine. It's about time to retire, find a different job. You're not a journalist. You don't qualify even to be a mother.